Mommy come on baby. So we are right now we are Accra. We are at Accra now, heading towards the Kwame Nkuma Museum. <laughs> so we are now at Gravit Road. So we left for just some few minutes to be there. We are out here with the pre birthday girl. We have some few minutes. So it's some few hours to the next day. What do you have to say? Keep washing. <laughs> I'm at the Kwame Nkrumah Museum. This is my first time here and I'm so happy. Okay. Hello, most definitely. Welcome to another exciting edition of the program. This is the Counter Diary. We are telling the untold stories of Liberia. And of course, today's edition, I'm somewhere outside of Liberia. I mean, Accra, Ghana. And to be precise, this is the Kwame Nkrumah uh, uh, Presidential Library and Museum. So I'm going to be showing you around. We'll go in there and show you the first car that was used by the president of the Republic, the first president of uh, Ghana, Kwame Nkrumah. And then uh, we should just show you this is the, the library. So you can see from here. You can see from this place is the presidential library. You can see from here. And uh, you have to pay some money to enter here. But it's a very beautiful place for you to come with your family to come here to chill. And I'm here, that's my auntie over there. So we'll just show you how it looks like at this point from this side. So you also have the Kwame Nkrumah. Uh, presidential museum. I said we've already paid so we can enter, but um, you see from here. So I'm entering from this side. I already paid, so I have to go inside. And then uh, from here, when you enter, when you enter, you have to see uh, the vehicle that was used by the president. President. Your daddy. <laughs> so the president, uh, Kwame Nkrumah. It's actually a Cadillac. This vehicle was used by him. And then uh, we're still trying to check around. From this side. And that's my baby right there. She's having fun. <laughs> Taking picture of the first person of Ghana. Come here, come on. Have you taken the picture? Alright, so I'm also going to be taking picture here. And uh, so we just Okay, so uh, besides the going here, there's also a whole screen here that allows you to see exactly how it looks like, what it is like at the moment. Uh, you can see uh, this one is by the Ministry of Tourism, uh, Arts and Culture, Republic of Ghana. Wow, so let's go, let's go. Okay, can we go to the other side? So I let go this way. All right, guys. So um, we're coming at the museum after the presidential library. That's the presidential library. Yeah. Then here yeah, you have the museum, and and it's it's good, man. I love this area. So chilling. Uh, those of you watching us on YouTube, <laughs> it's good. It's a birthday. 
stuff so you can see from this angle how beautiful this place looks like so and uh, behind me I have my baby Emma and my cousin of my auntie everybody's here Ooh. Who want to go in the water? All right, guys. So it's great enjoying Accra, Ghana. The first president of the Republic of Ghana. Uh, this is built in memory of him. You see him up there. That's coming in Kuma, and uh, you'll see that he's also um, he was buried somewhere around there, right down there. I'm going to show you, but I'm not allowed to do pictures or video down there. So we just do it around here. So keep watching. This is the counter diary. This time around, I'm telling you the untold stories of Africa. And let me say, Emma, you want to say something to my people? Hello, guys. We are there. Kwame Nkrumah Museum. Keep watching. Okay, so you say we are at the Kwame Nkrumah Museum. Keep watching. Let's have fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm coming to my video. Okay guys, so we are staying here in Accra, Ghana, and this is the counter diary. I'm currently at the Kwame Nkrumah uh, Museum, and this is the place that was actually, uh, I mean, it's set up as the first president of Ghana uh, memory. It's stands for his memory. In that, uh, behind me, the, the act you see behind there, that is where he was buried, and he was also buried along with his, uh, when his wife died, she was also buried over there. Okay, so today I'm here, I'm just chilling with my daughter and I'm trying to just show her around to, you know, so that she'll have some you know, history about Africa that she'll sit down somewhere and say, hey, I went to this place and uh, well, with my dad, you know. But let me show you around. Keep watching. Let me show you around as well. And we'll be getting some history about this area from um, somebody, and like a tall guy. They're going to be telling us. So keep watching. So a lot of folks are here, you know, also on the same tourism stuff, coming to chill. <laughs> I love that. How are you? died at the age of 63 years. So his body was embalmed and brought back to Guinea. And there in Guinea, his body was put on a public display close to three months. And later, his mother, together with his family members, requested for his remains. So the body was then again embalmed and transferred into a metallic coffin. And that coffin was a gift from the Guinea president, Secretary, and he was brought back to his hometown in Morocco. There also his body was put on a public display for 20 years and in the year 1992 he was brought here to have his final burial. Where the structure is, is where he was buried in 1992. Thank you. Thank you. Great work. Thank you. Great work. Thank you. So, well you have the head here. Yeah. Okay, 
So during the coup d'etat against him, those people went ahead to vandalize his personal properties and the statues of him across the country. So this particular statue was destroyed and the head was taken off together with some other parts. But the head got missing because during the distraction, a lady witnessed it. So she went for the head and kept it in her house for 43 years. She later returned it back to the information center and they also brought it to this park and it was mounted in 2009 but the main body was mounted in 2007 that is why we have the head separated from the body and also to tell the history about it and we are still looking for the other parts like the ears the arms the fingers so please if you go back home and you see it around kindly bring it thank you okay so now we are moving into the audiovisual gallery room and in there no pictures or videos allowed okay so uh, like i said we're going in there no pictures or videos allowed in there so keep watching <laughs> so um hello guys so we just came out of the museum from the kwame nkrumah first president no videos allowed in there so i couldn't show you that video but uh, I'm staying here. Let me show you more videos, okay? So keep watching. We have to go now. That's all. Right. Thank you. I wish I had to This is like yeah. Yeah. So where are we going again? In the last one. Okay. Okay, final one. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can take some pictures also. Hey, double knife for him. You are taking your ready, so don't worry. I've taken plenty. Okay, so over here is called the Freedom Wall. We have some pictures of him with different Freedom facial Wall. expressions. Just to tell that Osaji Putu was an ordinary human being just like us. We all have emotions. And we have his favorite quote of which says, I am not African because I was born in Africa but because Africa was born in me with its name and signature and the black star stands for the black star stands for the hope of Africa or the hope of black people so please this is the end of our talk kindly enjoy the rest of your day thank you so much if you need any assistance in taking pictures I'm available to you all right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so uh, we're done with the tour of this area, but something very important that I want to let you know, and that has to do with this quotation on the war here. I'm not African because I was born in Africa, but because Africa was born in me. This is a quotation by the first president of Ghana, um, Kwame Nkrumah.
Okay, so um, I know you love it. I'm enjoying it. But let me ask my Emma. Come and tell me something. Tell me about your experience here. How do you feel? Um, I feel happy at the same time sad. Why do you feel happy at the same time sad? Because I'm happy that I came here to experience about Kwame Nkrumah. And I'm sad that they cannot find the rest of the parts of their bodies. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, guys. So thank you. Uh, if you enjoy watching this video, please hit the subscription button on YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos on Africa. Keep watching.